Hey y'all, just doing a quick video. Um, I was out here mowing today and there's a couple things I wanted to show y'all. So first off, we moved the one little lawn mower and looks like we've got a chicken who has decided to turn that into a nest. <coughs> Scalper, uh, yeah, so that's her nest. Then um, came in through here with the zero turn. As you can see, some of the tall grass is gone where like the wood and supplies are, it couldn't be, or if it got too close to the edge, I'll have to come back through the weed whacker. I do have a ton of bindweed that came back in that bed where I had um, done a video cleaning it up. Uh, I am going to do a separate video kind of showing y'all how I'm going to try to eliminate this bindweed out of this bed. But in the meantime, just kind of walking through here and I'll do another cleanup too. You know, I've been kind of cleaning as I go. But I got a lot of the tall grass eliminated, like I said, except for places that I couldn't get close because either the flagstone that's over here or some other things. But, you know, it's kind of crazy how much of a difference this made just doing just a little bit of cleanup. So I got to pick up those, um, those panels back there so that I can get those tall grasses. But if you don't remember from the first video, this thing was just like full of those tall grasses. I just knocked a ton of that down with a zero turn. But I got to come in and do some... Um, some regular cleanup with the weed whacker. Unfortunately, I guess there was some cloth that was laid down back here. I bet because we laid the flagstone, we probably had it underneath and I accidentally tore it up into the yard. So that's not my best moment. But what I wanted to show you was this. Oh my gosh, right? Look how cool that is. I mean, I was riding along and I was like, you have got to be kidding me that this beauty just kind of survived in this jungle. So exciting. So let me tell you a little story about this um, tulip. I was at Walmart and it was like a mother after Mother's Day, right? They had all these pots of these tulips like this and they were on some like 80% off sale or something. I mean, they were looking rough, right? Like, I mean, I got each bowl that had several several tulips in them for like, uh, I don't know, like, I think I got them for like $1.75. And this woman sees me buying these like almost dead tulips. And she's just like, oh, those are like dying, you know, this and that. And, you know, I'm surprised you're getting them. And I said, well, you know, they come back. They're, they're perennial here. Like you can bury the bulbs in the garden and they'll come back next year. And she's like, what? I didn't know that. So she got super excited and she bought several colors too. Um, I don't see where the other ones are popping up and it's a little hard to tell because this area is so weedy so I'm not quite sure um if any of the other colors survived like the yellows and oranges um I see some tall things out there that might be tulips uh, I don't know those might be just like tall weedy grasses but I just wanted to show you guys how these things just kind of pop up and it's so exciting and then it gives me hope for cleaning this space up when I see this, this happy little flower in the midst of the chaos.